Here's what Final Fantasy XIV sounds like with three AI-powered natural voices. Ah, the sea breezes of Limsa Lominsa are so refreshing. Ah, the sea breezes of Limsa Lominsa are so refreshing. I'm about to show you how to set up in just a few minutes. But first, the important part. Using a third party tool is against the official terms of service. This is a use at your own risk modification. Be wise and adhere to the community rule. Don't ask, don't show and don't tell. Ready? Let's go. Step 1. Installing the 14 launcher. First, install the 14 launcher, a custom launcher that supports plugins. To download the setup file, use the link provided in the description. When the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. If you play on Steam, make sure to enable Steam integration. Now select your language and most importantly, activate the Dalamud plugin framework. The first time you launch the game with the 14 launcher, it will perform a quick one-time setup to download the necessary files. Once that's done, simply enter your Final Fantasy account login information. Step 2. Install the text to talk plugin. Once you're in the game, open the main menu by pressing the escape key. Click on the Dalamod Plugins option. In the Plugins Installer window, search for TTS or Text to Talk and click the Install button when the plugin appears in the list. Step 3. Setting up natural voices. For high quality voices, you need the free Natural Voice SAPI adapter, which uses the voices built into Microsoft Edge. After downloading the latest versions and extracting the zip file, double click installer.exe to run it. If Windows Security presents a prompt, simply choose More Info and then run anyway to continue. Now enable these settings. Enable Narrator Neutral Voices and give it a directory path. The Microsoft Edge Online Voices. Now click the Install 64-bit button to complete the voice installation. Once installed, do not move the files. Step 4. Basic Plugin Configuration When you're back in the game, press the Escape key and select Dalamog plugins again. Locate the text to plugin you installed and click on the settings button. It is a good idea to create a keyband first so you can quickly toggle the text to speech feature on and off while playing. Then go to the general tab and check the box that says only says character name the first time a character speaks. This prevents the plugin from repeating the NPC's name for each line of dialogue. It's also important to prevent the plugin from reading the public chat out loud. To do so go to the channel settings tab at the top and uncheck everything. I'd recommend leaving only NPC dialogue ticked. Finally, click the voice tab and select a default voice for the drop down menu, such as Ryan or Jenny. Now you can interact with an NPC to ensure that the voice is working properly. Surabami says ah, Shira game. One day, one day I'll wake up to your pristine white sands. Step 5. Advanced Voice Customization to make the experience more immersive, you can now create voice presets that change the voices of different characters. In the plugin settings, click add new preset, give it a unique name such as Libby and then choose the appropriate natural voice from the list. Repeat this process for each natural voice you intend to use. Once you have created all your presets, turn on the use gender voice preset options. This will open a new drop down menu with male, female and ungendered preset. Click each menu and select your preferred voice presets, assigning different voices to each category for maximum diversity. That's it, you've set up your natural voices. Thank you for watching. Please leave your questions in the comments section. If you found this guide helpful, like, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date on new Final Fantasy XIV content.